everybody, I just thought that maybe it'd be better just for me to do a recording uh, rather than having a whole meeting. Um, talk about utilizing my resources, right, and my technology. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna do this like quick recording just to show you how I'm using Canva to create my digital um, my digital scrapbook. So first, just know why Canva.com is free. C a m v a dot com it is free however like if you want there are certain like premium features that you have to be like you have to pay for the subscription in order to use but for the basic part of this it is free i pay for um the actual whole thing because i use it a lot i use it for you know presentations so instead of using powerpoint presentations i use canva all of my marketing materials for real estate, like everything that I do creatively is used, uh, is done in Canva. So anyway, I just had to point that out. So first I'm gonna show you how I find the templates for the scrapbooks. So I go, first of all, to, and excuse the background noise, school just got out, so it's a lot of people in my house. So I go to home here on the left, and then I go in the search simply and type in scrapbook. So I already searched it here. So I'll just click on it. And then it's gonna bring up a ton, y'all, a plethora of different templates, okay? And you really can just choose whichever one you want. <laughs> so it's no um, particular one. I mean, just choose the one you want and that you feel fits best with who you are. Um, and they have like some as simple as this one. Um, and then they have some as more complex with a lot more going on as this one. So let's let's try to use this one, okay? We're gonna say, customize this template. Okay, and so this one I'm starting with because it's pretty simple, right? So I go to my upload. So over here on your left, you do have all of your components. And uploads is over here. And you upload your files here all the pictures you want as you can see I've already uploaded these here so I'm just gonna show you how I just drag and drop using this template so it's already created all I do is drag and drop okay so I'm very proud of this picture it's when I ran my first um, not my first it was my first 5k I ran in the cold <laughs> and I was pretty excited about it um, anyway I made a good time on that one so you know I want to put that right in the center uh, this one is the love of my life, my husband. So, you know, he can go on there. Um, my twin, my dad, he can go on here, you know, because I love him too. Um, and then, you know, I can add, uh, this is my um, daughter, Nevaeh. I love her so much. And she's my oldest daughter. And I can put her there. And you see how easy this is, y'all, like to drag and drop this. But here's why this template wouldn't work for me because I have landscape photos. Like I want to use this one. This is a guy. This has all my babies in it. Um, I think like this one could possibly see how it's cutting her face off. Like so, you can't like you have to use like whatever dimensions is already there in the template. So it's really not gonna make this any better unless like I drag this over some. See that. So you can move it around as you see fit that works best for you. So I can still use this. I just had to move this one out of the way. So, I mean, it's very, like I love, love, love Canva. Um, and so, yeah, this is me and my doula when I had my last baby. And it was a special moment for me. It was my first doula, my first natural childbirth. So, you know. I feel like that's a special picture, so I'll put that in mind too. But anyway, so this is how it's done. If you still feel like you want some one-on-one -on -one, like guidance with this, let me know. I'm happy to spend some time with you on this, but I hope it helps because it helped me a lot. It saved me a lot of time, and it's cute. So anyway, I'm going to give you back the rest of your day. I hope you guys have a great one. Bye-bye.